G'day, welcome back everyone. Uh, today I'll be installing this Safari Snorkel on our new MR Triton. Uh, that'll involve putting a fairly big hole in the side of this brand new panel. <laughs> um, apologies in advance for the voiceover. Unfortunately, I lost all the audio for all of these clips. So you'll have to put up with my monotone voice um, and not much else. Anyway, thanks guys, let's get into it. So these are the tools that you'll need to install the snorkel. You'll need a hole saw. Um, I think it's 121 millimetres. We're using 127 millimetres, it should be okay. Uh, I've got my drill bits. I think you need six and a half and an eight millimetre. Some Loctite, a step drill bit, some touch-up paint. This is the same colour as the car, a W32 in my case. Um, doesn't have to be colour match probably. And next we've got a uh, pot riveter, some masking tape, sharpie pen to mark out where the holes go, some silicon, drill, and that's pretty much it. In this box, uh, we've got the fittings for the, to, for, the uh, for the snorkel. You can see some hose clamps, uh, plastic bits that join it on uh, and then you've got the actual snorkel itself. Inside the box you've got the template for the uh, snorkel that you stick on. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Uh, but basically you, you line it up and then mark the holes. So first we'll uh, pop the bonnet so we can get access to the inside. And we've got this template here that we need to take this triangle out. Um, it's perforated, so you just rip it like this. You can use a, a Stanley knife or something if you need to. And for me, I just wiggle it like this and it should come off. Then this just goes on the driver's side like this. We need to use some masking tape and just tape it roughly in this position. Uh, here you can see I've taped it up. Um, it lines up with that top and the door, the, the jam at the door. They're the two important ones. You, you'll need to wriggle it around a bit to get it there. And then this lines up with the top of the arch as well. So now that's in place, we'll go and mark these holes with our, with our Sharpie. Double check this a few times before I do this. Make sure that I need to mark all these. You do actually need to mark all the holes there. Uh, just double checking with the instructions to make sure. So we'll just drill out the holes. First of all, drill them out with a pilot drill bit and then step them out. I, I went a little bit smaller than the ones in the instruction manual and it seemed to work fine. Uh, but yeah. So now comes the fun part of the big hole. This is 127 mil I actually did, which is slightly bigger than what they recommend. Um, I just took it very slowly. This is not an expensive one either, so I was a bit worried it might jump around a bit. Uh, I did use some WD-40 uh, just to help lubricate it and keep it from getting warm. Um, the last bit was a little bit of a struggle because there was one tiny bit of metal holding it on. But there, we finally got it. Now we're just uh, getting ready to put the holes on the top of the A pillar. Uh, I've put some masking tape in the place where those holes will be. There's three holes up there. And then I'm just sit the, sitting this uh, snorkel back on. Uh, and then I'm able to mark where that bracket will sit 
uh, on the A pillar and where the three holes need to be. And we drill the three holes out. This is a touch-up paint that I'm going to use. I think I showed it before, but um, we're just painting all of the metal surfaces to make sure that we don't get any rust here. Uh, I got the colour matched. I've done the big hole and the holes on the guard. I'm just doing the one on the A-pillar now. So now we've just removed the airbox. Uh, and as you can see here, this is with the factory part removed and we've got to install this in, which is just installed with a couple of uh, pot rivets. So I've put some silicon in there, pushed this part in, and now we'll just pot rivet the sides. There's one pot rivet either side. Uh, and you just make sure that you've got that sealed up as well because there's a kind of flimsy plastic and there's a bit of a, a gap there. So the pot rivet just goes in the side, you have to draw a five mil hole or something, I think. Um, and then this just goes in the side like this. Uh, I actually sealed up those eyes of the pot rivets too because they have a hole there. They're kind of not a blind rivet. So I put some put some on there and I also sealed up the bottom. This is an optional step in the Safari um, manual. So I decided I might as well do that while I'm at it. It does allow the water to drain out so I guess you just need to be a bit careful if you if for some reason you do get water in, water in the airbox, um, it's not going to drain out like it would usually. And next we push the um, bit that joins the, the snorkel onto the airbox through. You have to kind of squish it in uh, like that. You can see it there. Uh, and then once that's through, we can get ready to put the snorkel in. Now just putting the uh, grommets that the snorkel bolts into. Uh, this is the top mount of the snorkel. Um, and then that just screws on like this. It does have some play in it. So um, the two bolts that bolt onto the snorkel can take up a bit of slack if it's slightly off. Just make sure that's firm. And we're ready to finally put on the snorkel. Although the hard part is to come. So this just slides in into that rubber tube that we slid through the guard uh, and just line up the holes. We then have to get to the bolts for the back and this is the hardest bit of the whole snorkel install and hardest to film as well. Um, these bolts and spaces have to go up through the guard so it took the guard liner off uh, and you feed it up through the guard. And this is the final result. I put the snorkel head on and it fits up really nicely. Um, it's pretty much as direct as the, you know, it could be to the airbox. Um, secure. Yeah, it's a pretty, I recommend it. Snor Safari snorkels are always good. Uh, and this is another one that really did work well. If you like this video, please give it a like and give it a subscribe. Um, and we'll be doing more MR Triton uh, videos.